first impressions. <laughs> Amazing. So, special mini series of videos coming up for you guys. We are at Red Bull Hardline. It is now Friday practice. If you're unaware what Hardline is, it is basically probably one of the most technical, most gnarliest events of the year with some of the biggest jumps I've seen. And yeah, the guys practiced yesterday and one female rider, which is awesome. And we're here today for practice and then Saturday for qualifying and then Sunday for the main race. So we're gonna go and take a look at the track, check out some of the features and watch some of the riders shred, maybe even catch up with some as well. So we're at the top of the track. Riders were going up for the first run of the day. First drop into the It's a long way. Yeah, I don't like this feeling. Oh, oh, disgusting. What? That's how I did it yesterday. Yeah. Bam. Like I would gain a bit more confidence to it though. Yeah, I know what you mean. That's why I was like straight up again. You know? <laughs> Come on, Andy. Go on, Jim, bye. Yeah, boy. Oh. Oh. He went way slower than everyone else. Yeah, it's this size jump set. A World Cup? Uh, yeah, or maybe you I do. They may be a bit bigger than the World Cup champs we used to ride, so... Yeah. <laughs> Oi! Yeah. He's making it look easier. Big drop! The speed riders must come down here. Into this corner must be insane, like look at... Look how deep that rut is. So we're now down at the brand new straight they've built for the ships, Hardline. Quite fast. Jumps. So 
the riders come off the step on, step off into a really fast bit of track. And then these are absolutely huge. What are your thoughts on this? What are my thoughts? Yeah, yeah. As a uh, man behind my lens. Up there is pretty similar as it was last year, albeit way wetter. But then this, this, because this was like real steep jumps, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And he's, Dan's obviously melded it out a bit faster, but huge on off and then into, I only thought it was one jump here and I thought it was a hell of a lot smaller than that. Okay. It's bigger than it is on video, trust me. Come on, Caleb, come on. Yeah. I'm not chasing that. I'm not chasing that. Holy! How big are these jumps? I don't know for sure. That's probably 80, 90. That one's maybe 70, 60, 60, 70. There's a flag there as well. So riders can see when they're coming into the features, if it's windy or not, because you have such big airtime with these jumps. Uh, videos won't do it justice, but any amount of wind on the floor is probably multiplied way more where the riders are higher up. at this event is unreal there's big features but every rider is like helping everyone through the features and jumps pretty cool experience to see low down we've uh, found the one good day of wind in uh, wales so uh, it's time to tick off some features <laughs> in a hurry so we've hurried on down to these on off and 90s and they're actually pretty chilled oh because you guys didn't ride too much yesterday because they did like nice. the metal jump and the drop and then uh, none of this was all too wet and stuff so uh, we are uh, furiously ticking them off and they chill. They're sweet. Yeah, you just pedal and pull. Yeah. Oh, big landing. What do you think of him, Jackson? Oh, it's insane. Yeah, it's a uh, crazy feeling jumping jumps up big. Yeah, loving it here. Sick. Conditions are perfect. Right now, do you think it's a downhill track? Like, not right yeah. now, you're just sessioning jumps, but like for a full lap, this is pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be a little bit of that. <laughs> And you had that, you had that. Oh, Come on! <laughs> that was sick though, well done. Come on, Jim. Yeah, Jim! Fucking Brighton did, but he just fucking stole. Ah, fuck, you guys have fun. Yeah. 
he had that smooth. Yes! Oh! -ho -ho. So it actually turns out they closed those two big jumps because of the wind. It's like so unpredictable. So they just shut it off completely until tomorrow. Can't really take any chances. So I'm not too sure what riders are gonna practice now. I'm just walking down. This is like the technical section, which you probably haven't seen. You come out of those massive jumps and into these sick looking corners. And then I think it goes into some ultimate tech. Yeah, all of it down so well. He's coming. Guys, watch out. Bye. So we're at the infamous road gap. And again, it is Whoa. big. Videos will not do this justice. And then... Bye, guys. Oh, you went deep. Just waiting for some more riders to come through. This is the takeoff of the road gap. This probably is one of the most iconic features on the track, but it's also probably one of the easiest from what I've heard from riders. It's just literally like roll in a little bit of a pull off a takeoff and then you just float over it. Whereas some of the other jumps are a bit more technical. <laughs> Even the section before the road jump is quite technical rocks. Yeah, G Man. Woo! Oh, it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> Oh my god, that would give me the, the fear. So that's day one, well, it's actually day two for the riders of practice at Hardline. We have just finished up, we're going to the hotel now, put an edit together, which is the one you're watching right now. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow for qualifying day. More action, more big sends, more big jumps, more cool stuff. So yeah, stick around if you're at Hardline. Blown away, this event is insane. Hope you guys dig the video. See you tomorrow for qualifying.